Okay, so this is a quick recording, um, briefly going over the points we talked about at the staff meeting last week, Tuesday or Thursday, at the Huabo, um four-person eco-home. So an idea for the uh, eco-village that is being discussed at the moment. This is just an example building. could be any shape. We don't know what that would be like until the project happens uh, and we see the site and would design the building for the site there. But to give us an idea of how sunlight at different times of the day affects the, the amount of heat that's in the building. So this is with the, the blinds here, the cable awnings closed, retracted. And I've taken away the bamboo and the trees so that we can just see what happens with sun in the building. So quite a lot of light coming in here between 7 a.m. and about 10 a.m. If we add the bamboo back in, got bamboo to the north for winter winds from the north, mitigating cold winter winds from the north, and the bamboo to the east here to mitigate strong typhoon strength winds. Bamboo trees, any kind of high vegetation like tree or bamboo type plants will uh, help with the wind speed a lot. Um, so this again is around 7am. We can see back inside the building that uh, we've got quite a lot more shade now from the bamboo. And then we open up the shades here and we've got nearly everything shaded. There's some light getting in but still be able to see out from the windows. And then we move around to say midday, 12 o'clock. And outside you can see midday in Taiwan. This is around September time. Let's go back to January. So there's not a lot of light at midday getting into the building any time of the year when you have cable awnings, some kind of roof overhang cable awnings like this. You can see there is some getting in now. If we go and have a look at the inside view, it's a different story depending on the time of year. So let's have a look at around, let's take it back to January and then back to about seven o'clock in the morning. You can see we get a lot more light into the building because the sun is lower in the winter. The angle is lower. I get a lot of light throughout the day that will be the same on the other side of the building as well. So, in the afternoon, as we go past midday, we'll then get a lot of light inside the building towards 6 p.m. here. So that's good. In the winter, we we might want some some heat inside the building towards towards December time. And that just shows us what happens to the shadows on the outside. So there are no roof overhangs on this model. Uh, version 2, the next iteration, I will be adding the roof overhangs so that we can see what happens when we have some roof overhang as well. Obviously will be good for shading. Um, you can see where the light goes now with no roof overhang. Um, part of the problem that we get though, let's take this back to midday. Taiwan in the summer, let's go June, you're not going to be getting much light into the building around June or July, middle of summer, uh, around midday or any time of the day, morning, noon, evening. Um, but the ground out here will get really, really hot, <laughs> especially if it's black decking or concrete. Uh, that heat then, if you open the windows here will obviously have an effect on the interior temperatures of the building. So windows closed in the summer is probably a good idea. Um, we will talk about in one of the next short five or ten minute presentations, Davis asked to see um, a presentation on the Earthship style buildings. So there are six principles for those one of which is we have cooler air coming in through ducts through the back of the building 
in through the rooms and then up through the roof where it gets hot by the windows. Kind of like a, I guess you'd call it a convection engine. I think I've heard that phrase before. So, But to keep things simple to start with, uh, I've chosen a simple building shape and we can see exactly what happens with a lot of windows at the front of the building there, different times of the year um, with sunlight getting in. <laughs> 